Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. We're going to be sticking with the Warriors. Isaiah Thomas was on the Draymond Green podcast, and this is what he had to say that Kevin Durant did for the Warriors' legacy. Let's take a listen to it. Let me make a bold statement here. Yes, sir. And I hope this don't upset you. Before Kevin Durant arrived in Golden State, y'all were on the verge of and being and being remembered as the team that went 73 and 9 and lost to a Cleveland Cavalier team in the finals. You up three to one. And probably one of the, the biggest collapse in NBA finals history. Kevin Durant comes that summer and really saves y'all basketball legacy. He win two championships after that. The Golden State Warriors dynasty that you're going to go into the Hall of Fame on and everything else, it is cemented because if Durant don't come that summer and you guys are remembered as the 73 and 9 team, all of your legacies are different. Eli. But no, the part that he no, left no, out, no, no. it also saved KD's legacy. If he don't got no championships, we're not looking at him the same, Gil. Because we, hold on, Gil, nah. we got to speak to what we know. We can't speak to what we don't. Because I can't say, man, if Gil, if Gil was six nine and had healthy knees for fifteen, man, Gil be going to the hall. He might have him a couple of. We got to deal with what we know. Mm -hmm. And what we know is Draymond said it. They wouldn't have won. They wouldn't have beat Cavs. No, they would never beat the Cavs the again. Chief, if, if KD didn't no. come, right? That came out of Draymond Green's mouth. We before, didn't need Draymond to tell us that. Right? We knew that. You get chased down 3-1 now, years, you ain't beating that team again. Now, now this is the problem Okay, here, tell, tell me, tell me. One player legacy was sacrificed for three other players' legacy. See, Kevin Durant going there, yeah, it gave him two championships, two finals MVPs, but no one respected him in the media world. While that same move cemented three players in the Hall of Fame, one as probably the best point guard that ever played that's going to get a statue, yep. right? Top 75. His sacrifice gave them that, mm -hmm. right? And that is that is the, the 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 reality of it. Because without those two championships, we we don't know what happens to Golden State because they was laughing. Yeah, at. for sure, they were being that summer. And when KD went there, that stopped all yeah. laughs. Nobody even remembered what just happened. Nobody even saw. Talk, nobody talked about. Uh, Cavs as the defending champs, right? Soon as Katie said, I'm going there, the championship was Golden yeah. States. And all they had to go, all they had to do was deliver. But the problem was his legacy was tainted forever yeah. because of it. And 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 Steph Curry's elevated plays yeah. elevated. And that that's the only problem I have is like, damn, you you sacrifice one to build yeah. up three. But he did it. He felt that's what he needed to do. Um, but mm -hmm. I, the media can't be mad at these players because y'all put so much, they put so much emphasis on rings. So guys feel like, okay, I'll give me a ring. KD say, okay, I'll go gra grab me a ring or two. And then what y'all going to say? Mm -hmm. Y'all might not like the manner in which I got them, but I got them. Y'all can't say I'm not a champion. Yep. So I don't begrudge a player because this is what you force those guys to do. Because you don't evaluate the player on what you see. You're like, well, if he don't win a title. Bro, do you understand that it takes a team to win titles? See, but I think what fans get mad about, and the, and they don't get mad if, if teams put them together. Look at those Lakers team. Mm -hmm. The Lakers had Kareem and, and Magic. And got the number one pick the, worthy. The year that, Mag the year <laughs> that Magic got drafted, that same year, Kareem won the MVP. So you tell me, you yep. think that's, so what's the likelihood? 
of the team that wins the MVP, the team that wins the championship, the player that they draft, somebody from that is going to turn out to be Magic won the finals MVP. You're never going to see that again. You're never going to see a rookie no. win the finals MVP, Gil. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm old enough to remember when it happened. But had what? Kareem not missed that game, people don't realize how good Kareem was in that series. Kareem was averaging 33 yeah, no, and 13. No, no. Go look it up. Yep. Kareem yeah. was averaging 33 I, and 13. Still, still argue. And Magic get it. It's still arguing. Like, how did Magic get this when Kareem was being so dominant, averaging five blocks that, that yes. for that series? The only the only team that can can actually do some damage like that is OKC, since they have two damn near lottery yes. first round yes. picks. They can somehow sneak and get two good players with the but team they have. Be, but he's not going to MVP over that shape. But that, what I'm saying is that don't even no. exist anymore of what was going right. on back then right. in the 80s. 70s. Because if you look at look at those Celtics team, they had Bird, top 75, Parrish, top 75, McHale, top 75. All of them together. Okay, they had mm -hmm. Tiny Archibald on one of those championship teams, top 75. They had Dennis Johnson on that team, who was a finals MVP mm -hmm. and a defensive player of the year on that team. They had Bill uh, they had Bill Walton. Even though he wasn't the same, he was a finals MVP and a league MVP and sixth man of the year. Okay, we're going to go to the Lakers. The Lakers had Kareem. I don't need to say anything. They had Magic. I don't need to say anything. They had Bob McAdoo. They mm -hmm. had Jamal Wilkes. So let they had James Worthy. So let's not yep. pretend they've always been super teams. The only difference yep. is team the, uh, the the general manager they put those teams together. So I don't care if it's a super team as long as my home if if, if KD don't go join Golden State or LeBron doesn't go join Miami or this one or that one. It can be a super team, but I just don't want the players meddling because they've always been super teams. Go look at those teams that fill it up your 76ers. You don't think Moses Malone and Dr. J? And then got Charles Barkley? Yes. Mm -hmm. They had Bobby Jones. But, but the, even Boston, even when you're talking about Bill Russell back then, that people don't realize Bill Russell's rookie year. He didn't win rookie year. Tom Heinsohn did. Yeah, and was the all star on the team. Like, so how good was the teams back then? Like these guys, that, that's why I said, like, it's 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 been super teams. It's always going to be super teams. But when the player says, All right, because no one does this, no one, no one pushes this 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 narrative on the owner. Right. No one goes back and say, Hey man, this owner sucks. No. This owner's not trying. They they did it with um Donald Sterling when they wanted yes. to get rid of him. But before that, they're not like, hey, he's he's never he's never re-signing any players. He just drafting them, letting mm -hmm. them go, drafting them, letting them go. And all other ones are like, I like his motto. That's money. Mm -hmm. So when players are sitting these these teams, they're like, well, he's just got pointless stats. He ain't winning over there. And you're like, well, you're, he's not paying right. anybody. You this man is not paying anybody, so let me leave. They Oh, you can't. You ain't a winner. That was the ultimate super. The Celtics in the 60s was the ultimate super team. They had 10 Hall of Famers. They had 12 yes. players on the roster. John Havlicek <laughs> came off the bench. How you get a guy come off the bench? Dave Cowens, MVP. <laughs> you had Sam Jones, Casey Jones, Kuzi, uh, uh, Tom Heinz, and Don Nelson, uh, 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 Bill Russell, Havlicek. Yeah. Well, Damn. Bill Sharp, how many players you want? Yeah, because they didn't have free agency. They didn't have uh, free agency then either. You just trade. Yes. So when, so what happened is, if I don't like you, I'm gonna trade in my. I'm gonna trade my asset to 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 the team that you don't like and you're beefing with people. They, they did yes. that back then. Look, I'm gonna trade you my players because I don't want to pay them and then you go on and keep whooping yeah. his ass. I mean when they had when the Lakers had they had they had uh Will they had Jerry West they had Elgin Baylor they had Gail Good I mean you rich look at all the top 25 go look at the top 75 and see how many Celtics and Lakers got <laughs> no when you go to the when you go back to the top when you do top 50 oh, right 
The top they were 50, all Celtics, damn shit, Celtics uh, and Lakers. 50, 30, 39 to 40 of them came from big city teams. Yes. When we top 10 players of all time, the only person that comes from a small city that broke through is Duncan. Everybody else is a Laker or Celtic. <laughs> yep. Laker, Celtic, and you can throw in Philly. I mean, but other than that, it's a big city. That's that's what they go off of. This wasn't all IT. Isaiah Thomas, the big Isaiah, told Dre, Isaiah still wants an apology from Michael Jordan. I don't believe it's coming. For being called an asshole <laughs> in the 2020 docuseries, The Last Dance. He explained to Dre why his relationship with Jordan isn't sal- salvageable. Let's take a listen to what Isaiah had to say. Where is your relationship at today? And, and is that salvageable? Dude, no. Not salvageable. No. This dude got on national television, international television, and called me an asshole, somebody who's been really good to him. And until he apologizes on international television, we ain't no conversation. You can't, you can't apologize and have a private dinner when you didn't embarrass me publicly. If you didn't mean it, say it publicly. Now, if you meant it, let it stand. I'm good with that. Isaiah, you know you my dog. You don't get that apology. See, here's the thing. <laughs> See, Gil, this, this is the great part about being as old as I am. Isaiah them didn't do this. Go back and look what happened when Isaiah, when the Detroit Pistons beat the Boston Celtics. See how many of uh, Bird and McHale and them, see what they did when Isaiah and them beat them. They walked off the court. And ain't nobody mm-hmm. saying a damn word. No. Not what. Go back and look it up, chat. Let's see what happened. Isaiah <laughs> also said, he said what normally would happen when the team would win the, the finals, the Eastern Conference and Western Conference finals, they would all come into the locker room after a hey, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what Zeke said used to happen. I just know, I just know when they beat them in, what was that, 88? Isaiah then went to the finals three, three straight years. Cause eighty nine. They, they, well, they lost. They they lost. They lost. No, no, no. They won. Okay, they won eighty nine and ninety. Mm-hmm. They lost in eighty eight. But I th- didn't. Because I think because I think the Lakers beat them twice in the final. Didn't Lakers beat? Nah. They, yeah. No, they didn't. They beat Philly twice. They beat Boston once, and they beat. They beat Boston twice. No, yeah, they beat they beat Boston in 85 and 87. They beat the Pistons in 88. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that was the go back and look it up. Go back and mm-hmm. look it up. So I don't know what the protocol was. I just know what I saw. So so mm-hmm. Isaiah, protocol. Isaiah and them didn't start when you lose. Oh, just walk off the court and don't congratulate the winning team. Isaiah and them didn't start that. No, this was this was never about team shit. To be honest, um, this was about personal personal relationships, right? This was a personal thing. W- w- whenever a team got beat, football, basketball, you rarely see the losing team clapping hands with the winner because the winners are yes. celebrating. The winners are running around jumping. Only friends are. Touching the other friend. Like if I'm if I won or I lost and my boy just won a championship, our friendship is the reason I'm gonna go say what's up. Like, congratulations, right. dog. Now, that was the problem with them too. Jordan's friendship to Isaiah when Isaiah won was the handshake. When Isaiah lost, Jordan as a friend to Isaiah was like, I want the same right. respect. And in fact, when Isaiah walked right. off. Jordan took it yeah. personal. It didn't have nothing to do with, oh, we shook y'all hands, y'all shook y'all. No, no, no. I shook your hand. You're supposed to shake mine. I don't care. He didn't care about the rest of the team. It was it was the guy that he felt was right. a friend of his. This goes, and that, that was the issue. This goes back to the All-Star game. 
when Jordan believed that Isaiah had something to do with them freezing him out. Mm -hmm. And then all this, we know they can deny it till the cows come home. Isaiah should have been on that dream team. All this notion, well, he didn't blend and he didn't fit. You say Isaiah was the second best point guard behind behind Magic Johnson. He was better than John mm -hmm. Stockton. I don't care what y'all mm -hmm. say. And they yeah. know it. And they and, and for all these players now to get up there years later, nobody it's not about being like. Nobody liked Isaiah. Y'all say y'all took the best players. Y'all make it seem like all oh, so 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 now all this stuff about y'all, y'all fighting tooth and nail. So all y'all buddy buddy, huh? Because that's not what you're saying. Mm. That's not what you get on TV and say now. But now all of a sudden you're buddy buddy. Isaiah should have been on that team. Isaiah should have been Isaiah should have been on that team, and I don't care what any of the, the eleven to twelve guys that made the team. Isaiah should have been on that team, so they robbed him yeah, in course. eighty because the Olympics was boycotted because the Soviets invaded mm -hmm. Afghanistan, and Carter didn't send the yeah. Olympic team. So by that time, Isaiah was already in eighty one. Isaiah got drafted, and then he couldn't play. He couldn't play in the Olympics until they started taking pros, and the only reason they started taking pros because in eighty eight. The Brazilian team led by Oscar Smith kicked the living daylights out of out of out of the uh, uh, the Americans. Go back and look it up. I think he dropped forty eight on them. I mean, everything is personal when it comes to certain things like that. It is personal. It, it's not like it, it's not a team. That the 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 the, um, the 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 USA games we've been going through this whole time is per it's relationships yeah. has nothing to do with the talent. Like, look at the lineups we have. Those ain't the most talented players yeah. in the league. Some of them, the last the last people team, four players didn't even start on the NBA Correct. team, but was prepping the USA game. Like, ah, mm -hmm. come on, man. This is our this is our relationship. So, hey, Isaiah, hey, we, we we understand. We get it. But I can tell you this. <laughs> he ain't getting that apology. I don't know what you've been watching. I don't know if you watched the last dance. I don't know oh, if I you've been it. watching children's relationships, right? Yeah, Good luck. No, it, he ain't talked to Berkeley and T. Ain't no coming back. Pippen gone. That, that shit. I don't even know if he talked to a bull besides Oakley. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. So, I, so y'all. I hope. I hope Isaiah. Like I said, I, I know Zeke, and I, but uh, Isaiah, don't 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 you wait for that apology. Hell no. Nah. He, hey, uh, Jordan's standing on business. Mm -mm. <laughs> he, Jordan's standing on business. He ain't messing with no, none of y'all. No, he, he, he absolutely not.